Okay, this is a reaction video uh, suggested to me by Mac Bolin. Uh, humiliating Gen Z can't answer the most basic questions. Now, I'm pretty sure, uh, like I said, I've done these videos where they ask people on the street, can you, you know, answer basic questions? And they usually pick the ones who the people who can't do it. But so I, I always want to take this with a grain of salt because I'd be like to see the ones that actually did get it right. Maybe none of them did get it right, but I'm hopeful that they, that, that you know, I'm not pulling my, I have a friend of mine who has absolutely no faith whatsoever in Gen Z. I have a little bit of faith because I have a niece and nephew who are Gen Zers who graduated from college and they would be able to answer. I probably would guess would be able to answer these questions. Uh, but let's take a look at this. Uh, humiliating Gen Z can't ask, answer the most basic questions. Uh, please click like, share, and subscribe, and let's take a look. Do you know how many stars there are on the U.S. flag? Now, please tell me that they know the, this, this, this answer. This is a very easy answer. It's 50. I mean, it's 50. 52? No. I, 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 I'll, I'll give... No, I, I, I was going to give partial credit because you maybe say that D.C. and Puerto Rico, even though they're not flags, you know, stars on the flag, but no, I'm not going to do that. It, everybody should know 50. That's basic stuff, elementary school stuff. Yes. What state is Utah in? Utah is a state. Michigan? Utah is in Michigan. But I, maybe, no, not going to Yes. You know what state Utah is in? Oh, I'm now I'm guessing the, uh, I think this is New York City. I'm, I, I believe that's where we are. So I'm not actually shocked that these people don't know this answer. To be honest with you, I've never heard of that place ever in my life. She's never heard of Utah. Thank you. I live under a rock. Okay. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, yeah, this is New York City. You name three countries besides the U.S. <clears throat> To the south, there's Mexico. To the north, there's Canada. To the east, there's Bermuda. Okay, and to the west, you can go to the Philip. You can say the Philippines. Okay, you can say Japan. You can say South Korea. You can say whatever you want. Please tell me you can know three countries. And then, please, please. I still get history. What does history have to do with naming three countries? I was like, my worst subject. Can we do like science? <laughs> and look, they have all these countries here. No, any three, any three. You know this. A country? Oh my yeah. jeez, this is terrible. Oh my god. Um, a uh, country. Wait, besides the U.S.? Yeah. Huh? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> let's give well, Let's give her some credit, okay? Well, maybe he, we can't give her credit because I was gonna say she knows. At least she knows the U.S. But I think he told her that, so we can't really give her credit, so. Yeah, I can't. All right, all right. I can't, I can't do history, I can't. Do you know how many dimes there are in the dollar? There are 10 dimes in the dollar. <laughs> Make up one dollar. A dime is the 10 cent or the 5 cent? Nickel's 5 cent, dimes 10 cent. You tell me. <laughs> I don't know. Can you three countries besides the USA? Um, damn. Any three, you know this. Canada? Hey. So Mexico, right? That's good? <laughs> yeah. Damn, I need one more. Uh, damn. Yeah, so you got Canada, New Mexico, and what? <laughs> Damn. I need to go back to school. Do you know how many seats there are in total in the US? A hundred. There's a hundred states. Okay, now, Based on what he you look, look, he's asking people. It looks like it's a gay pride parade. No, I'm not saying gay people don't know their history or don't know their geography. I'm just saying that that's where they are. I'm just looking around this place because I know these people don't know simple answers to simple questions. How many continents are there? Now this can be tricky because the question. You know, I, 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 we, look, we know North America, South America, Europe, Asia and Australia, and Africa, and Antarctica. Um, I think there's, I think it's, it's generally considered to be seven, 
Although I've, I've heard people say we don't count Antarctica because it's not really populated, but technically speaking, it is a continent, so seven. Three. Continents? Yeah. Yeah. There are three continents. You know, I, I have to think that she's thinking of three countries in the United States. You should add, follow that up with what are the three countries in the United States? Not the United States, sorry. Here, you know, give me a fail. Three uh, countries in North America is what I meant to say. Uh, I think that's what she's thinking of. I'm hoping that's what she's thinking of. Yes. Do you know what two countries border the U.S.? Canada, Mexico. So border? Yeah, like on the borders. The only border that I know is Puerto Rico and Mexico. Yes, who fought in the Civil War? The United States, the North and the South. Mm, I don't know. You talking about pres president-wise? No, the people. Who against who? I don't know that one. I know it had to do like what with France or France and I don't know the other one. France and who? You're close. Um. France and the British are the same thing, right? <laughs> the French and the British fought in the Civil War. <laughs> yeah. So, damn, I don't know. Who did they fight against? Us? Yes. Do you know what continents we're on right now? North America. And look, I, I, look, I think we've gathered that I know the answer to these questions, so maybe I should just react to them, okay? Now we will do you know who fought in the Civil War? Um, who fought in the Civil War? Fuck. Like from the president? No, like who against who? It was the Nazis versus Germany. No. <laughs> in the Civil War, it was the Nazis versus Germany. That's that's classic. Oh, good God, that is classic. The Nazis versus Germany. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to... T oh, good God. Oh, no. Yes. No. I'm going to say yes, but correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. <laughs> you actually just guessed that? Nah, yeah. I'm kind of smart. You didn't know that? Oh. Did they teach you that in school or what? They taught me it, but I just guessed it now, but... Yeah, so it's like, probably, I forgot, probably, but... Yeah. You know I mean? It was right in the back of your head and, like, it came up? Yeah. How many uh, Kardashian sisters can you name? Kendall Jenner, Kylie Jenner, Kim Kardashian, um, Khloe Kardashian, um, Courtney Kardashian. Is that all? That's all. Yeah, that's all of them. I couldn't name one. I, I think I named Kim Kardashian, but that's the only one I've ever heard of. I mean, I, I, I don't know any of the Kardashians because I don't give a rat's rear end about the Kardashians. But... That's the Civil War. It was the Nazis versus Germany. That's classic. I've never heard that before, and this basically explains it all. She can name all the Kardashian sisters, but she doesn't know who fought in the Civil War. Sorry. Smart. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're a genius. Uh, how many seasons are there? July, August, September, December, 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 December. No. I'm sorry, what did you say? I said eight. There are four seasons. He's talking about fall, winter, spring, summer. She's naming months. Eight. Yes. Can you name three countries besides the USA? Um, three countries? Yeah. Canada, Mexico, and um, um, Asia. No, Asia. yeah, Asia. Yes. You know, look, I, partial credit. Okay, that's sixty-six percent. That's technically a passing grade. Okay, and Asia is not a, Asia is a continent, obviously, but that's that that's so far he's the winner so far. It is Utah. Utah? I don't know what Utah. <laughs> I'm terrible. But you know, if you're in Utah and you're watching this, you've got to be shaking your head. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know yeah. history. Like, that history, world history stuff, I don't like. I'm mad. Do it. Three. Utah is world history? Times three times three is? Three, three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. Times three times three. Three. <laughs> 
Yeah, you know this. Yeah, I know this. Stop. I'm guessing that's what it is. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is twenty-seven. <laughs> no, she doesn't know this. And quit staring up at the heavens as though it's going to magically come down to you. Okay. Hold on. Nah, that's supposed to be a trick. That's supposed to be a trick thing. But like, I gotta do it in my head. Sorry. Nine, nine times three. Damn. <laughs> Why don't you just ask what's three times three? See if she knows that. Damn. Oh, thirty-six. What's three times three times three? It's three times three times three. Man, this guy knew two countries, even. Come on. Um, 36? Yes. What's three times three times three? Three times three times three? Uh, nine times three. But I don't know. I ain't gonna lie. I'm retarded. Yeah. I mean, he worked it out. He got to the nine. He just didn't know what nine times three was. Let's take a guess. A number. Like, 36? Yep. Everybody seems to think it's 36. What's three times three times three? Twelve. <laughs> Twelve. A three. Look, three plus three plus three is nine. Okay. Three times. Th uh, how do you get twelve? Yes. Do you know what continent we're on right now? Or North America. No. <laughs> I don't know none of that. Do you know who the current vice president is? Well, I'm assuming this is uh, uh, 2022, unless this is it's either Kamala Harris. Or it's Mike Pence. I, I don't know when this. I, I didn't see when this video was done. So uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's happened in the last six years. So it's either Kamala Harris or Vice or, 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 or Mike Pence. Vice President? No, I don't know his name. But I know. Oh, it's yeah, Kamala. So this is during 2000. After the 2020 election, so it's Kamala Harris. I heard it. I don't know. You remember his name? I know he's from Bulgaria. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> You ought to be asking Kamala Harris these questions. See if she knows the answer. What's the capital of Chicago? Chicago's a city. It is not a, a state. There is no capital of Chicago. Mm. But here we go. We got the one who can know the name of the Kardashian sisters. So, what's the capital of Chicago? Capital of Chicago. Dame un segundo. I gotta think. This is a tough one. Mm. Is it Los Angeles? I feel like that's so wrong. Yeah, well, considering they're only what, what two thousand miles apart from each other, I think something like that. Uh, yeah, Los Angeles, L.A. It's the capital. My cousin lives in Culver City, which is close to which is in in in, in uh, close to Los Angeles. So he lives in Culver City. So uh, yeah, there you go. He's in Chicago. He's in the, he's the capital of Chicago. There we go. Wow. That's not even a capital. My dumb ass. Um, capital of Chicago. I really don't know that one. What language do the people in Idaho speak? What language do the people in Idahoan? English. They're from the United States. Idaho Idahoan is what I... Is, is, yeah, Idaho. What? They speak the language of potatoes. Like the language of people who live in Idaho? What do they speak? Do you know? Hell no. I don't know. What? Japan? Do you know how many people? They speak Japan. <laughs> if you're in Idaho, do you speak Japan? Presidents we've had so far? Uh, we've had 46. Um, uh, Trump was 45 and Biden's dumbass is 46. So we have had 46 presidents. So we now know Kamala Harris is the vice president. So this was done after 2020, so she should say 46. I have no faith that this woman is going to know the answer to that question. Oh, no. No, like... Around how many? 11? 10? 10 or 11 presidents. There you go. Good answer. Yes. You're in the ballpark. How long is a quarter of an hour? 25 minutes. Yes. You know that... Quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. 
I'm only answering because in case you didn't know, okay? Maybe maybe there are people out there that don't know. I don't know, okay? Maybe these are, are harder questions, okay? I, But, yeah, whatever. What two countries border the U.S.? Again, Canada to the north, Mexico to the south. You said what two countries what? Border. Mexico. I don't fucking know. Mexico and, um, I don't know. Well, you got one of them right. That's 50%. I forgot. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> How many times make up one dollar? How answers. many dimes? Yeah. Oh my god. She's not gonna know this. Come on, man. You're asking trick math questions. Come on. We're doing math now. Why are you doing all the questions? I can't. Yeah, she said she. I think she said she was good at science. Why don't you ask her like, uh, what is photosynthesis or, uh, um, what is the lifespan of a. Uh, of, of, a, of a grizzly bear or something like that. <laughs> um, Take a guess. You know this. Dimes, dimes. Wait, I'm trying to remember what dimes are. Um, what a dollar. How many dimes make a dollar? Yeah. Next question. <laughs> How many minutes are in half an hour? How many minutes are in half an hour? That's thirty minutes. Sixty. Yes. Okay, half an hour. Yeah, sixty. Right. Yeah. Okay, now, this guy's now wearing a Manchester City shirt, okay? Now, at least he's not wearing a Manchester United shirt. I'll give I'll give him some credit. I was about ready to pick on Manchester City, but I'm not going to do that, okay? Uh, I'd rather pick on Manchester United, so, yeah. How many minutes are in a half an hour? She said 60. In half an hour? No, 45, 30. 30. 30. She got on the third try, okay? So right now, this person... I would say he's one of the smartest people on the street that he's talking to. Oh, she, she, she just had it. Which number? number? 35. Yes. Well, that's close. You almost messed up. How many dimes make up $1? A thousand or a hundred? <laughs> a hundred. Yes. What year was the U.S. founded? Now, keep in mind, I was old enough to remember Americans' bicentennial, the 200 years celebration, and that was in seven. That was in 1976. So the United States was founded in 1776, even though we had a Revolutionary War, so to speak, to, to confirm that. But 1976 is the correct answer. I do not have absolute. I have no faith in this person to answer this question correctly. What year? Yeah. Oh, you lost me with that one. <laughs> Around what year? You know this. Around what year was founded? Hmm. I feel like I should know this one. I feel you should know this one too. I feel like you do know this one. What year was it founded? Um. Nah, you got it with that one. I don't know. Yes, like around what year? If you had to guess. Nah, because I'm not looking <laughs> hey, She's worried about looking silly or looking foolish. Um, we're well past that, okay? We are way past that, so don't worry about this. Just give a year. Any year you give will will, will, will suffice. Just a year, you know. A year. Around when? Found it. I'm going to be like, um, 1995? No. 94, 90. Now, I don't know how old this person is. I don't know. Again, this is after 2020. So she, you know, uh, you know, maybe she's 20, 21 years old, maybe. So 1995, that would have been uh, Bill Clinton's uh, was a president. Okay. Okay. 95. 95. It was 94. Yo, what the fuck? Yes. <laughs> Now, question. Do you think this person is going to pull out their phone and actually look it up and find out that this that, that she's being made to look foolish? Do you know how long a quarter of an hour is? A quarter of an hour, that's 25 minutes. Yes. How many seasons are there? Five. Wait. Okay, we don't know. We Whenever we hear quarter, we think of, of 25 cents. And when we, we don't know how many seasons there are. Spring, right? Yeah, that's a season. 
Spring, summer, winter, fall. There you go. Fall. You got it. Spring, you got summer, it. Summer, winter, fall. If you're driving 60 miles an hour. By George, we have a genius. By George, we have a genius. She figured it out. And you've been driving for one hour, then how far do you travel? Okay, you're driving 60 miles an hour and you're driving for one hour. How far do you travel? <laughs> 60 miles. Yeah, I knew that. I'll just make sure I read it correctly. He's practically he's given her the answer. I don't know, like uh, six in my, I don't know. You you got it. She 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 got it. What's a guess? Thirty minutes. I don't know. Sixty. You just she just got it, didn't you? An hour. Yeah. And you've been driving for an hour. Then what's the distance you go? How far do you travel? Drive. So I don't know. Yeah, that's true. Let's, let's get this is New York City, okay? There's not a lot of people that drive in New York City that I'm aware of. Most people don't need cars in New York City, okay? So, come on, we should get better questions. I don't know. I'll no, we got that, okay? We know you don't know, but wish I knew, but I don't know. Take a guess. Like, imagine you're in a car. And you're driving 60 miles an hour, and then you've been driving for an hour, then... Yeah, it is pretty fast. So how far do you think you'd get in that time? It wouldn't take me that long, so... Maybe, like... 20 minutes? Yes. Do you know how many stars there are in the U.S. flag? 52. Well, I think Barack Obama... To be fair, Barack Obama once said... There were 58 states. Now, to be fair to him, we're talking. He was on the campaign trail and probably talked to so many different people. So that that's an honest mistake. I don't think Barack Obama is an idiot or a moron who or somebody who can't answer that question. But it is. But he did say 58 one time. Dang. Okay. Uh, Round comment. Fifteen. Sixteen. Yes, he's gonna say yes. I don't know. Fifteen or sixteen? Yeah, fifteen. Yes. How long is a quarter of an hour? Like thirty, a half an hour. That's thirty minutes, right? Yes. When do they sell? Well, look. Let, let's let's give partial credit there. He asked how much is in a quarter of an hour, but he gave half hour, and he was correct. So, good for you. Good 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 on you, man. Right, the fourth when do of they July. celebrate the Fourth of July in England? Okay. Well, first of all, they don't celebrate the 4th of July in England, and it's just another day of, day of the month as far as they're concerned. Uh, but in England? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you had to guess. Is it in July too? <laughs> yes. Nice. Two days before us. Do you know who fought in the Civil War? No, I have no clue. You know who fought in the Civil War? Yeah. It, yeah, it was the Nazis versus Germany. The Nazis fought Germany. Okay, I'm trying to help you out. People? Yeah. Soldiers. Well, hey, hey look, so people, soldiers, that's correct. That's you know, I'm going to get partial credit for that. You got me there. If you were born 10 years ago, then how old would you be today? <laughs> You'd be 10. Mm, 10 years ago. I don't know, I'll be like 14, 12. 12? You don't even know how old I am. If I was, what was it again? If you were born 10 years ago today? If I was born 10 years ago today, how old would I be? I'm 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that explains why she thought the country was founded in 1995. She's 20 years old, so this is 2021, 22, whatever this was. Okay. You're 20? <laughs> 10, right? I said 12, close. Yes. Okay, this is Flecka's talk, so I'm guessing that's the last, last one. Uh, again, take this with a grain of salt. 
we're talking about uh, people who didn't answer the question correctly. I'm wondering how many people did answer the question correctly. We did see some multiple, some, some, uh, uh, same people were asked the same asked questions. We didn't just have different people all over the place, but quite sad. But my favorite is still who fought in the Civil War: the Nazis versus Germany. That is the best answer I've ever heard. Okay, please click like, share, and subscribe for them for Flecka's talks. This is humiliating. Gen Z can't answer the most basic questions. And uh, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, please click like, share, and subscribe for me, and have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much.